Well, hey everyone, how's it going? So, what you're looking at here is the inside of my front fascia. Now, one of the questions that I get a lot is how do you remove the grills to paint them, replace them, whatever? There's two ways you can actually do it. You can actually come in, you can remove your headlamps. I have a video on this. You can remove your headlamp assemblies, come in through the headlamp assemblies, you can push the tabs that are all the way around here that actually hold this in place and then you can pull the grill towards you and that doesn't work for everybody and unfortunately it's not working for me this is all brand new here and um, unfortunately uh, the tabs are really hard and uh, so I needed to get more leverage for this particular one so removing the front fascia may be required. It takes about 15 minutes to get it off, maybe about another 15 to get it back on. So it may be a worthwhile investment. Plus then you don't have to worry about breaking anything, scratching anything. And you can also you know, double it by removing the, uh, the lower grill as well uh, while you're there. So uh, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you a trick to doing this. Um, so that you can get these out now I have my grill inside okay inside my house and on the carpet find someplace soft where you're not going to be scratching it up and obviously get the grill on its face just like this uh, if you're comfortable doing something like this I don't think that the carpet the soft carpet that I have in the living room is actually going to scratch any of this up it's better than doing it on concrete obviously but again, I'm having trouble getting these out, so I'm using this little trick. But basically, you just take a flat blade screwdriver and you kind of wedge it in, okay, very gently or as gently as you possibly can. And then when it's wedged in there, then you take your left hand and you slide it up underneath the fascia just before the grill. So my left hand is about right in this area. So you're holding the fascia and then you apply down pressure on the grill itself and it, you can see where it's released then you can do the same thing for the next one like that down pressure and it released and uh, once you start going around and doing them all then it should come right out but the whole point in having it on its face like this and on carpet is so that you don't scratch it Plus, you can use your other hand to actually control the fascia, and then you can push down on the grill, and you're not going to damage the grill because it's on carpet or a soft surface. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you another one. Sometimes you got to kind of wedge your screwdriver in a little bit to get these to want to come out. So, then you just use your palm, push. And just like that it's literally that easy yes it takes a little bit more time to get your fascia off but in my opinion this is the better way to do it if you're gonna be painting this thing if you're gonna be replacing them whatnot it's just a great idea to not scratch the paint again you've got paint from the factory or whoever painted your vehicle there that could possibly scratch so this is the method that I recommend you do in order to get these grills out. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of them out then. Okay, so if you did in fact start from what would be the bottom of the fascia, you get these downward. You don't have to worry about the last two because then what happens is they just they pull down and away from you. So just like that, one of the grills is out. And yep, this also separates into two pieces so that you can actually paint it. But the problem is, is that a lot of times they're glued from the factory. You can see here these parts right here where these should be able to disconnect. But what I'm actually going to do when I paint these red is I'm just going to use some um, painter's tape or some masking tape and just run that all along here so that it doesn't get touched because I really don't want to break this it may be simple to detach the two but I'm just gonna end up leaving it and just use a little tape instead so there's one of them 
and we can go ahead and repeat the process for the second one. All right, so both of the grills are out, and they look to be in really good shape. They should be because they're basically brand new. And so now we can clean those up and paint them, but I also wanted to make one final note. For those of you who are worried about the flat blade screwdriver actually causing damage, let's see if I can get a good, here's one right here, causing damage, um, the flat blade screwdriver was just in there just enough to wedge the clips back or the retainers back. And you can see here that there's some a lot of imperfection in here anyways, and all I did was bring it back just enough so that it would um, allow it to be pulled out okay so i didn't actually damage any of the paint um, they don't even clear coat the inside of this this is all really rough so if you're worried about possibly damaging your paint then you want to use maybe uh, a plastic um, tab or, or something that you can wedge in there but i didn't do any damage to any of mine the key is to not Stick your screwdriver all the way in as far as you can go. You want it just to the tip of it, just enough so that it wedges back just a little bit, and then the uh, the grill, the clip, should come right out. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. You can see how dirty it is. Of course, I'm going to take all this and clean it up really nice, but you can see how textured and rough it is under here. They don't, they don't finish any of this stuff. Um, it's just... You know just a cost thing they don't need to so the lower grill you actually have tabs okay the retaining tabs uh, they are a part of the grill so they can't be pulled out but essentially what you do it's really easy um, like I said with the carpet being on the floor I can actually use the ground to push against while I'm uh, manipulating these tabs what you what you can do here is you can just take a small, a really small flat blade screwdriver and very gently wedge it in just enough to release the pressure on the uh, on the clip so that it comes away from the fascia itself. You don't want it in too deep because the problem is, is if you bring it in too deep, see I put it in just enough so that it'll hold. The problem is if you bring it in too deep, you might actually scratch the paint on the other side. So we don't want to do that. So once the flat blade screwdriver has brought the tab away, then what we can do is we can use our left hand and come underneath the fascia, and then we can push down on the grill itself, and it should snap out just like that, okay? So that's what you do, and there's several tabs all the way around. Just do the same thing. Sometimes they're already released, like this one down here was already released. So... Just do that all the way around again. Don't stick the flat blade all the way down in there because you could scratch your paint and that's not what you want to do. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, repeat the process for all the remaining clips. All right, so I easily released the tabs. Of course this came right out. And it looks pretty good. Dirty of course. I plan on painting this red. I paint the grills red i have another video on that similar to getting these out and uh so yeah now you can see your h11 lenses right there your fog lenses uh, like gxp front end these definitely need to be cleaned up i mean they take they take the brunt that's for sure so yeah uh, didn't do any damage to any of the paint so cool this thing is ready to be cleaned up and uh, yeah so if you have any questions definitely let me know take care